Okay, so we just had a look at how would I simplify uh, two brackets when they are being multiplied with each other. So for example here I have two brackets. One has an x plus a, the other one an x plus b. And I, when I multiply it out using that long method, I found that the middle term, okay, in other words the, the um, x term, the one with just an x, um, I get by adding these two numbers, a and b, and the constant term, that's the term without any x, I get by multiplying those two numbers. And we looked at a few examples and here they are. There's just some uh, interesting things I want you to notice here. And what is that? Well, first of all, I want you to notice this negative 4. This negative 4, you'll remember, we got by taking a and multiplying with b. So taking a and multiplying with b. And we notice this sign is negative. The sign is negative because this bracket is, has a positive in it and that bracket has a negative. And the plus and the negative, when these two signs are opposite, different, it will always be a negative. When these two signs are the same, for example in this case we have a plus 2 and a plus 5, then I get a plus 10. Okay? Positive signs when they multiply give me uh, sorry, uh, same signs when they multiply give me the positive, opposite signs when they multiply gives me negative. Let's see that again, a negative 2 and a negative 3 because the signs are the same, okay, when they multiply they give a positive. Okay, so that's one thing that I can start using in order to find the brackets that I need. So let's say I am asked to go from this side to that side. In other words, I'm asked to factorize. So let's take this very one. Okay. Or let's take x squared plus 6x plus 5 is equal to, and I want to make this into two brackets if it's possible. Okay. I know both, each one of them will have an x because the x's will give me x squared when they multiply with each other. Okay. So one thing that I do know is that the signs inside will be the same because this is a plus 5. Now what two numbers can multiply to give me a plus 5? There's only one set of numbers. That is if I have a plus 1 times a plus 5 or a negative 1 times negative 5. So this can either be plus or minus 1 plus or minus 5. I want to figure out is it going to be positives or negatives? Well, I know they have to be the same and all I need to do now is see, well let's use the second condition. The second condition says when I add them up I should get what's in front of the x. So in front of the x I get a 6 and not just the 6 but a positive 6. So it must be plus 1 and plus 5. In other words, the correct answer is x plus 1 and x plus 5. Shall we have a look at another example? In this example, we have x squared minus 5x plus 6 is equal to two brackets Again, I notice that there is a plus, which means the two signs are the same. Okay, so to know which ones they are, are they positives or negatives, I can look at that one. Okay, this one must get me a negative 5. So it's going to have to be two negatives. Okay, because two positives will never be able to add up to a negative number. So it will be x minus something and x minus something. I have to get 6. It can be 1 times 6 or it can be 2 times 3. Both of them have to be the same and give me negative 5. That can't be negative 1 and negative 6 because that would add up. If I add them together, I'd get negative 7. But negative 2 plus negative 3 would give me negative 5, exactly what I need. So negative 2 plus or times x minus negative 3. One more example. Okay, in this example we have x squared plus x minus 12 
two brackets okay again an x in both and this time we notice that we must get negative 12 when we multiply these two numbers the only way of getting a negative number is when these two signs are different one is a plus and one is a negative and when I add these two numbers I must get positive 1 so it can either be what gives me 12 well I can have 1 times 12 but a minus 1 and a plus 12 will give me plus 11 I want plus 1 okay if I have a plus 1 and a minus 11 sorry minus 12 I get minus 11 so that's not working okay let's try another one 2 and 6 okay if I have a plus 2 and a minus 6 I get 4 negative 4 if I have a minus 2 and positive 6 I get positive 4 again I don't get close to 1 okay. let's try another set of numbers that will multiply to give me 12 okay 3 and 4 and if I take plus 3 minus 4 I get negative 1 okay I want positive 1 but I'm getting closer minus 3 and positive 4 will give me positive 1 so there we go minus 3 and positive 4 minus 3 and positive 4 Four. Those two brackets, when I multiply them out, will give me my original expression. And this is called factoring. Not too bad, I'm sure, okay? but you definitely need to practice this as much as you can. Good luck.